Um, hi, I'm Kirk Appleman. I am the general manager and VP of North America for Efficient IP. Uh, thank you very much for enjoying inviting us to uh, to your event today, and thank you very much to uh, Network Field Day for including us. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a bit of uh, introduction of who Efficient IP is, uh, what we do, kind of where our technology, uh, what categories we cover, and uh, you know how we enable uh, some of the most strategic initiatives that you have in your organizations. So first off, who is Efficient IP? Uh, we are the fastest growing DDI company uh, in the industry, uh, DDI being DNS, DHCP, and, and IP address management. Um, I can tell you, I have been working with some of the sexiest technologies in my 30-year career in selling technology, and um, DDI uh, is not one of them. Um, DDI is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's infrastructure, it's plumbing. Um, I just had a customer recently uh, a very senior level architect at a large technology company. He just said, you know, DDI and DNS, it's kind of like the plumbing in my house. You know, I don't really think about it every day. I don't really think about it very much. But when there's a problem, I need to fix it right away. And I'm willing to spend whatever I need to to make it right. And that's kind of the way I feel about, that's kind of a good way to think about DDI. Um, it underpins everything you do in your organization, but it's not something it, um, you, know, you think about every day. So a little bit of company background. Um, we are a Paris-based company. We've been around since 2004. Um, and we have regional offices supporting uh, the, mar the various markets around the world and headquarters in Singapore supporting Asia and uh, in Philadelphia supporting the United States. So in each of these uh, headquarters, these regional headquarters, we have everything that faces the markets, everything customer facing. Not only you know sales and, and sales engineering, but also professional services, project management, uh, and most importantly, customer success and customer support. So, you know, we're supporting everything in region uh, with local speakers, local customs, local business uh, business practices. Um, we have about 1,000 customers globally across the world, um, and we have about 300 or so uh, in the U.S. and Canada. And these include organizations in you know, virtually every industry you can think about. Uh, that includes one of the top five largest banks in the world, one of the lar five largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, uh, one of the big four auto manufacturers, um, large retail, and we scale to those large organizations. Um, we also scale more to the mid-market. So we actually have a team that's focused entirely on kind of mid-market um, uh, organizations and as well as uh, higher education. We do very well in higher education, uh, matter of fact, I think we're going to win the uh, the Big Ten championship this year as we continue to uh, close uh, and bring on new customers in uh, in that conference um, in in 2020 and 2021. Uh, we're also very proud of our uh, patented DNS security technology. So we have a whole product line that focuses on DNS security, uh, both identifying threat actors that are leveraging DNS for command and control, but also um, uh, threat actors that are targeting DNS for service interruption, which is a big deal in service providers, which is an industry I didn't mention a second ago, but we do have um, service providers of all various sizes around the world um, using our technology. At our core, um, we are, and in our DNA, we are a technology company. We pride ourselves on innovation and evolution of DNS, DHCP, and IP address management uh, technologies. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mentioned we were founded in 2004. Our three technical founders that built our initial technology are still in leadership positions with the company. So we have consistency and 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 longevity in being innovators, you know, in our in our space. Um, if you look at this slide, and I promise I'm not going to walk through every one of these uh, in innovations, just touch on a couple. Uh, one of the things I find very interesting is uh, we came out with the first. Uh, virtual DDI appliance in 2004. I mean, think about that, you know, virtual computing was in its infancy at that point. Uh, VMware was uh, a startup and we were already leveraging some of the latest platforms uh, if to deliver uh, DDI uh, capabilities. Um, in 2014, uh, we developed the fastest DNS server on the planet, the fastest in the, in the industry. Uh, 17 million queries per second is delivered by that platform. Uh, now we're sitting in 2021, seven years later. Uh, it's still the fastest DNS server on the, on the planet. 
and it's widely deployed primarily in service providers, a couple of large enterprises, but primarily uh, in service providers, again, around the globe, let, they require that type of, of, of performance. So this trans, from a business perspective, this translates into uh, tremendous growth for, uh, for efficient IP. As I mentioned, we are the fastest growing uh, company in our, in our space. Um, 2019 to 2020, we had tremendous growth and we even exceeded that growth in, from 2020 to 2021. Uh, the company as a whole grew 69%. Uh, and I like to point out being the leader in North America that we actually grew faster than the company as a whole, not by much, but, but enough to be, have some bragging rights with my peers in Asia and Europe. Um, and if you look at the kind of the, if you believe the analysts, uh, we're about, we're growing about three times uh, the DDI uh, industry growth rate um, as a whole. Um, we increased the amount of resources uh, across the board, various functions uh, to support our customers by about 20%. Um, and our professional services engagements, we did 22% more professional service engagements, so deployments and conversions. And I only... It, that's a really critical thing when you're talking about DDI because it is kind of like open heart surgery. Um, the conversion and the implementation of DDI uh, is really critical, um, especially when we're doing things like converting from, you know, you, Tom mentioned Microsoft earlier, but from converting from other, uh, let's say, commercial DDI platforms into efficient IP, we have a staff on, we have a staff uh, that specializes in doing that, you know, every day, all day long. So we have the right kinds of expertise and the right kind of methodologies to do this seam seamlessly on schedule without any kind of service interruption to our to our new customers. And that's you know evidenced by a 98% customer satisfaction rating. So even as we're growing the company at this rate, we're still maintaining the quality of both products and the services that we use to deliver. So I mentioned earlier, and I joke about this, um, you know, DDI kind of being uh, not the most exciting technology category. But what we do is we do enable the, the most critical and the most strategic new technologies that, you know, you are and our customers are moving towards. Um, so, you know, every day I talk to customers and prospects about, you know, SD-WAN, um, IoT, um, you know, hybrid cloud migrations and all those kinds of things. You can't do those well without visibility, control, stability, and also orchestration across the environment. And so you know, while DDI may not be something you think about, we enable those, for th those technologies and those initiatives that your organizations have that are top of mind to everybody across and impact your ability to deliver your services, compete in the marketplace, manage costs, and be able to support a remote world uh, that we've been, we've all been living in in the last year. So more specifically, here are some of the applications, organizations that we have uh, integrations with and partnerships with today. Um, later on in this session, uh, we're going to do a demonstration using and leveraging Terraform uh, that Bob will show. Um, but you know, when you look at this picture represents is that we are able to provide that integration and orchestration across you know, those different applications that, that impact your business. Um, we have Cisco at the top of the logo. We are also at the top of the, the, the pile here. Um, we integrate with Cisco both on an umbrella perspective as well as with Meraki. We have customers that we've deployed uh, from a security perspective where we integrate our security products with umbrella and then also customers where we're leveraging Meraki for uh, deployment and support. So there's a lot to go through on this slide and I'm not gonna do it. Um, I would just kind of highlight a few things here. I think one of the things that really makes us different or a few of the things that make us different. First off, our architecture. We have a very efficient architecture. The database is designed in such a way um, that we're able to have a much smaller footprint than really any of our commercial competitors. So we, we do designs, we compare them, fewer boxes, fewer appliances, whether it's a virtual or hardware, um, in order to scale to massive size. Um, I mentioned one organization earlier we're deploying across the globe and it was about 40% fewer appliances. So what that means is it's easier to manage, easier to deploy. It also lowers costs both on acquisitions, like acquisition of technology, but also you know, operations of that technology. Um, I mentioned the highest performing scalability. It scales both ways. We can we have customers that are small businesses all the way up through some of the largest companies in the world. 
Um, and then I think the visibility that we provide uh, is goes beyond what you're going to what you're going to see from any other DDI provider. Um, the APIs are extremely robust, which enables us to do all of that um, integration very easily. And those are the companies that I listed before that are a sample of integrations that we have official partnerships with. But I can tell you, you know, just from first from experience, um, you know, our customers are doing integration with their specific um, with their specific uh, technologies and the, and the companies and, and the applications that they use uh, on their own because of that are not you know part of an official partnership. So you know the the API, the scalability, and the flexibility of of, of how we deliver the product. Um, and again, something I didn't mention earlier that I wanted to is the bun What this allows us to do is bundle all the various DDI functionality into single platforms, which again makes it more efficient as well as uh, provides you know, much more cost-effective way of purchasing and deploying our, our technology. So as I mentioned, there's four different categories really that we, that we provide solutions around. First off, um, DDI specifically, uh, securing DNS and that DNS infrastructure, network automation, and then also traffic management.